Welcome, prize winners, to our virtual prize giving ceremony for the term 2019-2020. And I want to say congratulations to you all to have persevered throughout this year with all its difficulties and managed to win a prize. You've done a fantastic job, you really have. Now, you may not know this, but we are one of the best colleges in Scotland. In fact, we might be the best college in Scotland. So you are a prize winner in the best college in Scotland, which makes you the best student in your class in the best college in Scotland. And that's something to be really proud of. And that's something that you should keep on your CV and make sure that when you speak to employers that you're telling them that you were the best in the best college. So, fantastically well done. I'm sure you have had a chance to thank all your lecturers for their support. I'm sure your classmates have helped you on. I'm sure your partners and friends and family have all supported you in getting you through this year. So it's fantastic that you've now got the chance to celebrate by picking up your award. And you can relax now, head into the summer, knowing that you are a major prize winner in Dundee and Angus College. So well done and enjoy your summer. You've certainly earned a break. Hi, and welcome to Dundee and Angus College Annual Prize Giving for Session 2019-20. My name is Donald McLean, I'm Head of Sector for the Business, Access and Education areas of the College. In what's been a most challenging and difficult year for all of our students uh, due to a cyber attack earlier in the year and then with the COVID-19 pandemic, today's celebration of your success is an outstanding achievement for you all. My job is simple today. It's to wish you all the very best in whatever you do in the future, whether it's coming back to college or going into the world of work. But more importantly, it's to congratulate you on the success of your prize today. Your dedication and enthusiasm has demonstrated that you have come through these difficulties and challenges this year and still managed to shine and, and demonstrate the competences that make you such a successful student. So can I take this opportunity to thank you and also to congratulate each and every one of you on your performance and on your prize today. And can I wish you every success in whatever you do in the future. Well done and good luck. Hi there, my name's Jane Roscoe and I'm Head of Sector for Care, Sport and Social Science. I'd like to take the opportunity today to say a very well done and many congratulations on your awards today. They really are amazing. Well done all of you. When I was reading through the nominations for these awards today, there were some real standouts to me of the sort of personalities and characteristics that have made you all award winners. Things like going above and beyond going that extra mile for your studies, really showing commitment, showing resilience, getting through these quite challenging times. But not only that, you showed passion and creativity in your studies. And some of you really took a step when you joined the college to change your lives. And by being successful, you've done that. You've got to where you wanted to be. You're making those steps into your new future. So well done. And to all our learners in our sector, these have been challenging times. First of all, we had the cyber attack and then now we have lockdown and COVID-19. We're all working in a very different way, but you've done it. You've made those steps, you've risen to the challenge and you've got there. So very well done to all our learners today because you really have made steps towards your career of your choice, the future that you envisage. So very well done. And as a head of sector, I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of your achievements that you've got there. These are the things I think, the skills and attributes that we at Dundee and Angus College hope for our learners. 
but you do it. You put in the hard work and you're the ones that achieve. So very well done. Hope you all have a lovely summer. And if you're returning back to college next year, we look forward to seeing you then. Bye bye. Hi everyone, my name is Gillian McGovern and I'm Head of Sector for Creative, Cultural and Digital. When we talked about prize giving at the beginning of term, I never imagined I'd be doing a video recording to celebrate your achievements this year. I would have so much rather have been there in person to congratulate you all for your hard work that you've put in and be there to hand your certificates. This event today is a celebration of incredible student achievement across Dundee and Angus College and I really hope you enjoy every minute of it, as you are the one who's put in the hard work. This is a chance for you to recognise your friends, your course mates or anyone else you think deserves a thank you for all their hard work this year. I for one would certainly like to thank the Creative, Cultural and Digital Lecturing team for all of their hard work in an extremely challenging year. I mean, who would have predicted a cyber attack and then coronavirus? But you, the learner, have overcome these barriers and excelled in your specialist areas. And you've gone above and beyond the expectations of your course, which has resulted in you receiving a certificate of achievement as well as your course award. So a very well done. For those of you who are progressing, I look forward to welcoming you back next academic term. Albeit the way we deliver our courses might be slightly different, but we'll still make sure that your experience will be a positive one. For those of you who are moving on, I wish you all the very best in your future endeavours. And you might be feeling at this moment that the future looks bleak in terms of employment. But I'm a great believer that with every challenge becomes an opportunity. And what better sector to be in? The creative sector creates opportunities for economy diversity, to help reduce poverty, and create jobs for young people. So whether you're in art and design, computing, hospitality, hair and beauty, or performing arts, the prospects will be there, even though they might look somewhat different in this new world. So well done, everyone. A fantastic achievement. Give yourselves a massive round of applause and enjoy your special day. Hi, my name is Stephen McGregor and I'm the Head of Sector for Science, Technologies and Land-Based Industries at Dundee and Angus College. The sector covers everything from applied sciences, building services and built environment, construction, engineering, agriculture, horticulture and animal care, across full-time and part-time courses in addition to our Foundation and Modern Apprenticeships. On behalf of the sector, I just want to let you know how proud we are of you. This year has been unprecedented with both the cyber attack and the COVID-19 pandemic. But despite these, you've not only demonstrated an outstanding commitment to your learning, you've also been chosen by your staff as our award winners for this academic year. Success is no accident. It comes from your hard work, determination, sacrifice, 
and most of all, the love for what you are learning. Congratulations on your award, you thoroughly deserved it. Whatever your plans are now, be it returning to college or work, please stay connected with us as you are now our ambassadors for the sector and we're incredibly proud of you for what you've achieved. DNA Award for Progression, Hannah Lucking. Hannah Lucking studied at college for three years and in that time faced a number of personal and educational challenges. Initially, Hannah relied on peer support to cope as she often felt overwhelmed. Now she is the first one to offer support and help for fellow students who may be experiencing difficulties. The transformation in Hannah has been notable and we feel this deserves to be acknowledged. She has progressed from level four and is now on track to transition to university, which is an enormous achievement. Hannah epitomizes the DNA values of trust, respect and success, and is the perfect example of the transformative nature of further education. D&A Award for Progression, Jeremy Shepherds. Jeremy Shepherds moved to Scotland from Germany after working for many years as a chef. He left behind his young daughter to try and make a better life for himself and allow his daughter to move here. Throughout his science course, Jeremy has excelled across all subjects, gaining top marks in chemistry, maths and biology. Several of his lecturers have described him as the star of the class. During this lockdown time, Jeremy has fully engaged with all the online learning that has been provided and even carried out his own science experiment at home to give him data to complete his lab report. Jeremy has successfully applied to study at St Andrews University and has received a full scholarship grant which will allow him to continue to travel and visit his daughter in Germany. He's shown great progression, having never studied science before and put in the hard work and dedication to become successful. Eden Ravenscroft Prize for Outstanding Commitment, Michelle Hatton. Michelle Hatton didn't let pregnancy stand in the way of her studying for an HND in fitness, health and exercise. Michelle was always very keen to participate with maximum effort and having her on the course, moving through the trimesters, allowed the group to be educated around adaptation for prenatal clients. Michelle worked tirelessly to complete all the academic work required for each unit 
and liaised with staff to get ahead in preparation for coming off on maternity leave. While on leave, Michelle had to cope with challenging family issues while caring for her other two children. Happily, her baby Taylor was born on time, although he did develop severe colic. When Michelle returned to the course, her motivation and commitment to succeed within the qualification was admirable. Her commitment, time management, bags of enthusiasm and resilience really shone through. Eden Ravenscroft Prize for Outstanding Commitment, Rochelle Miller. Rochelle Miller is an amazing student who has pushed herself very hard over the last two years in college to help her towards a career in care. She cares for her young son who has multiple health issues while undergoing treatment for her own health problems. Rochelle is in a lot of pain and is awaiting an operation, but none of this has put her off and she's remained up to date with work and achieved well throughout her course. She's been instrumental in helping with the setting up and running of the Gardine Carers Group and achieved the Gold Award in DNA Attributes for her work with this. Rochelle's passion and empathy to other carers is enormous and she's helped many other students get the best experience they can from college. Eden Ravenscroft Prize for Personal Achievement, Laura Barker. Laura Barker has shown an amazing determination and fantastic attitude towards her work on the MPA Award in Construction, Painting and Decorating course, despite having challenging and stressful circumstances at home. Laura had an incredible work ethic, met all her deadlines and always took on extra work helping with other projects. She went above and beyond by doing projects out with college where she made many different themed boxes to raffle for charity. Laura also attended extra maths classes to help her with her course and although she found these challenging, she achieved fantastic results and hopes to progress to an apprenticeship. Despite all the outstanding effort and dedication, Laura did not look for any recognition for her achievements, which is why we think she deserves this award. Eden Ravenscroft Prize for Personal Achievement and Armitstead Prize for Personal Achievement, Jordan Young. Jordan Young had to leave school during his National Fives year and when he returned, he felt too anxious to continue with his studies. He then spent the next year at home, rarely going out and becoming increasingly isolated from everyone apart from his closest family. After time, Jordan was encouraged to look at the possibility of starting his National Fives again but this time through the college route rather than school. He did this and then progressed to hires. Unfortunately, Jordan became overwhelmed again and dropped out for a while, but with the encouragement of his close family, in particular his gran and mum, he decided that accounting was a route he might want to pursue. Jordan has studied accounting with us now through the certificate course up to HND, and is leaving us as one of the very best students in his year and has applied for university. Jordan has overcome many personal obstacles to get to the point he's at now. We believe his hard work and determination will lead to a very bright future. The George Matheson Scholarship, Rowan Allum. The Animal Care Department would like to recognise Rowan Allum's exemplary performance as a student and classmate over the past year by awarding her the George Matheson Scholarship. Rowan has shown kindness to others and excelled in her work. We hope that she continues the hard work and determination that she has demonstrated while remaining a positive role model for others. Leng Trust Prize for Outstanding Endeavour, Dale Grogan. Dale Grogan has worked exceptionally hard in class to overcome his learning barriers. He studied for a level six maths unit with challenging content and many mathematical techniques to learn. After lockdown, his motivation did not decrease in the slightest and he attended every weekly Teams meeting and completed every task to a very high standard. Dale watched every video we created to help him learn the content, even though in some days he was working 12-hour shifts. He still made time to complete every aspect of his work and was determined to complete the unit so that he could progress. Dale went above and beyond to continue with his studies and deserves recognition for his achievement. The Principal's Choice Award, Shannon Torrey. While studying for an advanced certificate in coaching sports and fitness, Shannon Torrey did more than 300 hours of volunteering, making her numbers the highest among the student population taking part in the DNA Attributes programme. Shannon coached a variety of different ages within Tayside Musketeers Basketball Club 
as well as taking on the role of publicity officer and helping to encourage more participation by females in sport. Throughout her journey, Shannon gained career management skills and developed strong people skills by interacting with participants, fellow coaches, parents and carers, external event organisers, teachers and many more. Shannon has admitted that at the start of last year she struggled to coach in front of a group of children, but she can now go out to schools and organisations and deliver a session confidently on her own, which makes us very, very proud. Stuart Souter Memorial Award, Sue Ross, in memory of Stuart Souter. Stuart Souter was an amazing young man, and many of us were blessed to have had the opportunity to get to know him during his time at Dundee and Angus College. If the word resilience was defined in a dictionary by a human face, there would be a glorious image of Stuart. To reflect on Stuart's life, this award is for someone who has shown great determination and courage to overcome extenuating life experiences. Sue Ross has had more than her fair share of adversity during her time as a student over the last two years. As a mature student, Sue has two grown-up sons, both of whom have been dealing with complex health issues. Sue has also had to cope with the collapse of her marriage and caring for, before the recent death, of her mother who had dementia. Despite these challenges, Sue still managed to attend college with an almost perfect attendance, always producing work to a very high standard. She's been an enthusiastic student, taking her studies extremely seriously and excelling on clinical placements. She also produced a helpful booklet on Parkinson's disease to help patients in her care. Sue is going to university to study nursing, something she didn't think was possible at the start of the HNC course. At times, she wondered if she should quit due to the pressures of her home life. But her resilience, sheer determination and drive are testament to her ultimate success. The Befriending Cup, Lindsay Buchan, in memory of Joshua Gregory. Joshua Philip Gregory loved being student president at Dundee and Angus College from May 2017 to 20th of July 2018. He enrolled at the college to study engineering and on passing his HND he stayed on. While studying he was play sports promoter, basketball coordinator, sport and well-being assistant and sports intern. Josh spent more than 200 hours volunteering. He also played basketball and celebrated the team's end of season victory. Josh was passionate about the well-being of his fellow students and had an innate skill to befriend and engage with others. The Befriending Cup is a prize awarded to students who have shown kindness, inclusivity and compassion to others. It's gifted by Joshua's family in loving remembrance. Lindsay Buchan returned to college after 20 years to complete her hairdressing training after raising her three children and stepdaughter. In class, she was friendly and kind to everyone and always one of the first to support her classmates, whether with a smile, a hug or a small thoughtful gift. Lindsay was dedicated to her course and enjoying her time at college and this included helping create a positive and happy environment in class. This year, she played a huge part in the Students' Association through her role as class and lead representative, promoting and sharing kindness across the college. Lindsay has been inspirational and has had a huge impact on many students and staff. Throughout our time in lockdown, she has continued to exude her passion for kindness and inclusion by providing a listening ear or by sending beautiful messages of encouragement. Lindsay is understanding and empathetic and well-deserving of this award. The Irene Callaghan Edinburgh Angus Club Award, Connor Robertson. Connor Robertson joined the college three years ago as a life skills student. In that time, he's been incredibly hardworking, diligent and focused on his learning with clear, well thought out goals. Connor is now ready to move on and we're delighted that he's hopeful of a place on the Certificate in Retail Events and Marketing course at the Kingsway campus. Connor's attitude to learning is superb and he's very eager to develop himself. In addition to further academic study, he now feels ready to enter the world of work and has ambitions to find a part-time job in retail while studying. 
So that concludes the prize giving. Congratulations again and well done to absolutely every one of you for the effort that you've put in and for all the support you've had from all your parents and all your friends and all the people who are surrounding you and pushing you over the line and making sure you do well. I'd like to thank everybody that's responsible for the awards, all the people who've put the awards together, all the people who've supported that, all the sponsors that sponsor awards every year. You know, it is very important that you continue to support the college. So thank you very much. If you're coming back to the college next year, great. Hopefully you'll, you'll go on to even further success and try and win prizes again next year. Why not? Become a double prize winner. So thank you very much and have a great summer.